Good day, good day. How the hunk are ya? Ha! Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan O. Yeah, we were doing uh, Matchbox. So let's take a look at the uh, second most common one that everybody has in their toy box. As you see, I have my uh, display case there. I like to uh, display my rovers in uh, nice cases. This one here is uh, pretty neat. I, um, I I got this one, I don't know, uh, garage sale or something. And uh, what I did was, as you can see in the background there, I, uh, I put maps back there. Yeah, I took all the shelves out and everything and plastered a map in there to give it some... Uh, Coolness. <laughs> there you go. And then I filled every peg hole with a peg and then put little shelves in there. So that's really kind of nice. I like that. So, uh, yeah. So let's take a look here. Today we're talking about the Matchbox 57, 176, uh, 177 scale. And it came out in 1966. Um, this is the Land Rover Fire Truck. And there's about 20 variations of this truck. And I was really kind of disappointed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, there is, back then, I don't know what, they just, they just made the stuff. They, they, I, I could not find uh, really any kind of, um, you know, I, I got a lot of my information. Well, most of my information from BAMCA org. Uh, dot org and uh, just I you know it's a needle in a haystack you know this is what I've got and to try to match it through and everything and and once again I'm still working on uh, getting uh, internet here at the, the new shop and uh, it's just kind of really hard so anyway let's start with this uh, these are kind of the first edition uh, Land Rovers uh, fire trucks the, with the gray wheels, this is uh, gray wheels. They have a tampo on there, and we're going to see, or they, they call it a decal on there. And uh, plastic base. Uh, this one here, if you could uh, remember, and I might tag the uh, unboxing video. I got this from uh, Champion DJK. Yeah. <laughs> ah, he sold me a bunch of stuff, and... Uh, so this was one, he gave me a good deal on this, but it's a plastic gray base. Uh, these, uh, the first ones came out with gray wheels and uh, decals on them. And uh, with the uh, ladder on the top. And one of the most common problems is these windows just fall right out. Uh, they, they're not really uh, attached too well to the ceiling there. So they come right out. So this is another one that I had gotten and uh, I was just kind of worried that uh, somebody had put gray wheels on it. Uh, so I kind of looked and it always seems like uh, in the, the models is the axles are the same. You know, there's the, the rivet end, like what's on the rear tire on one side and then the peened end or, or whatever, machined end on the other one. And these are both the same. Uh, all the other cars are like that. One, you know, the left side are are uh, the rounded end and the other side is not. So uh, there you go. So these are the uh, first ones. And like I say, this started in 1966. Um, that would be the first year that, in, that they came out, uh, new casting. And they came out and debuted with uh, gray tires. Now, after that, it, it really just kind of, uh, just, uh, there's no real, <laughs> I can't find any um, timeline on when, you know, things changed and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I, they, they just don't tell you. But uh, the other thing is, um, you know, they went to the black wheels with the uh, gray gray base uh pretty much all of them yeah pretty much that's what it is a gray base well, let's take a look at that base again and uh you know we're hoping we're hoping that that uh 
patent uh, finally gets through on this, you know, the patent's applied for, so, you know, Queen's wish is there. So, uh, made in England by Lesney, Matchbox Series number 57. And uh, it's, like I say, it's a Land Rover fire truck. And it, it's, peen, it's, uh, it's got tabs in the back there. And then it has uh, two small, very small uh, rivets or uh, posts up front. And uh, if you do any customizing or drilling, uh, those tabs love to come off uh, very easily. So it's a very difficult uh, one to work with. Uh, but it is, uh, uh, what is that, 1970s, they came out with this forward control uh, truck. And, uh, whoa, big whopping $4 on the side of there. But you can see how that decal is just nice and smooth and flat you know just a reflection off of there uh tells you kind of what uh you know going on and we're going to be taking a look these uh there's fire hoses on the side there two two uh reels or uh two uh what would you call them <laughs> they're not reels because the reels in the middle but we're going to be talking about uh, those uh, in a minute that's one of the variations that we need to look for uh, but headlight uh, tail lights there uh, no uh, markings other than you know uh, just the uh, Kent fire brigade is the, uh, the the most popular one there and of course uh, blue glass and that uh, dome always gets knocked always gets knocked so after that and I and I don't know when you know they ran these till about 1970s into the super fast and I don't know for sure but later on they started putting on what matchbox a label they didn't have decals anymore they went with the label and uh, so you know they're you know they you know stick right out and you, they wear so easily uh, same kind of thing now this one's missing its adjuster bar it seems like there's a kind of a color difference in some of those adjuster uh, suspension bars too. But uh, so somewhere along the line, they started making them with um, a label. All right, so we're going to just go right into and jump right into the super fast because some of you may not have uh, ever seen a uh, super fast of one of these. And. Uh, that was later on and now I guess the only variation now is I got to jump back here this is what uh, they call a uh, irregular label it's uh, like a top hat there you know uh, sh the short Kent and then the long fire brigade now this one has uh, the triangle more of a square look now, even though it's faded um, you know that's the other variation there uh, there's a lot of wheel variations uh, when it comes to these super fast wheels I didn't think that there was that many um, and then um, so yeah so there you go uh, and then I too I think they also uh, have uh, if you they have a short version of that axle that super fast that that barrel cover I think they have a shorter one and then a longer one there, but that's that's what it looks like with the super fast wheels attached for there. You know, that's kind of kind of cool there. But yeah, they, those wheels—I don't know—the axles were just a little bit too small or not enough uh, tinsel in the in the uh, in the metal or, or the steel or what. But uh, I got one in a package here. I don't know why I still have it in the package. Let's take it out and see what's going on here nobody just somebody just wrapped it up like if i can get it out we'll take it out ah oh, maybe we won't take it out i can't get it open goodness gracious cheese balls what's going on here rip it open come on this is like christmas i got all my ripping out uh skills all dulled down now that uh, christmas is over there you go so yeah pretty pretty cool there is only one other difference that I uh, want to talk to you about, and that is those uh, circle barrel, uh, I don't know what you call them, <laughs> They're the hoses on the, on the sides. Uh, 
and that's a variation and they call it a long hose and a short hose and so this is the uh, short hose right here and uh, let me see if I can uh, just pluck one off uh, nope that ain't one and uh, nope that ain't one where did I where did I put those at I, I had them so oh here here we go here you go here you go here you go this is it right here 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 oh let's get the butt ends together all right so as you see the one on the left there a nice clean circle with that uh, hose there now you see the one on the right has got like nozzles on the end of those hoses and that's the long version is what they call that long hose version same thing I mean they're the same uh, you know on the bottom they're usually the same same casting and everything oh cheese balls I'm dropping stuff can you believe that yeah so this is this is uh, same and same here same body uh, you know so yeah let's take a look at that again so uh, the one oh now I switched them I better switch them back so you don't get confused <laughs> so the one on the left is what they kind of consider the short hose and you see on the bottom there and then on the on the right there you can see that there's like a nozzle on the end of that hose the uh, the left hose of the reels there uh, seems to be a little bit longer but uh, it seems like everything else is pretty much the same in the back there except for that well there is a little bit difference uh these dials and stuff on the uh the one side let me get me my poker here these are a little bit different over here too yeah these uh little dials there sorry if you guys are getting seasick i'm trying to hold it as steady as i can but uh there you go so there's there's a variation for you guys to look for uh like i say i wish i had more information on you know the variants uh, these variances uh by year but i i just couldn't find anything uh, okay i want to show you one last thing now uh if you uh watched uh i i did do a um a uh video on the safari number 12 and i didn't show you this one um i was at the uh badgerland um steam show in uh, Baraboo, Wisconsin and I was picking through and I was looking for uh, obviously Land Rovers and I came across this piece I came across this piece I'm like no actually it was the interior I was like oh I found an interior I know that interior so I dig it around in the box looking and so I found the box the, the the body I'm like oh cool I found the body all right let's keep looking and uh well then I found the base yeah, check this out. <laughs> this is totally warped. Totally, I'm like, wow. And, you know, so I, I dug this out. And you can see that it is the base for that Land Rover Safari and how it just pulled away and melted. Just crazy, huh? So, uh, digging in the box some more. And I found this one. And it just is melted. So while I was digging in the box, the lady comes over and she's like, Oh yeah, those were uh some of those are in a fire. They were in a toys in the attic, and uh and the house caught on fire. And just wow, look at that. That is just remarkable. And uh, so I, I, I had to keep them like this, you know, it's just a story. I mean, you know, it just, how does that happen? You know, wow, there's just the, the intense heat that melts everything, but yet doesn't char and melt uh, the, the, the car, you know, it just, there, I did have, happen to find another one. This is a different location. Uh, I don't remember where I found this one, but this one also is, uh, <laughs> Receive the same kind of heat treatment, but uh, just just really interesting. Um, I, I don't know if they painted this afterwards, but that's uh, painted. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. That's kind of an interesting one of mine 
that I uh, I found, and uh, there you go. All right, well, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you for joining me today. We are just growing and growing as a channel, so make sure you give me a big thumbs up subscribe i can't tell you how much that helps if you subscribe and share and we'll catch you down the road remember slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day